Um, okay guys. Uh, he's chewing on the seagrass thing. Um, he actually had it down here. He actually jumped up there. I thought he went to try that one. But it turns out he had it in his hand or in his teeth and he jumped. So he's actually able to carry stuff. I mean, oh my god, I wish I saw the whole thing, but I missed it. Um, but here it is. I'm totally done. So this is the ideas I stole from somebody else. I'm actually going to go to the Lowe's tomorrow. I'm going to pick up one more of these. Because I actually don't like it like this because then there's a tiny little draft. And animals do not like it when they're not perfect. I know that from hamsters, they don't quite like it. And I don't want that for them. And plus, the reason I got a big house was so that they could share it together. Oh, I missed it. They were both chewing the same thing together. It's priceless. Um, so they've got two chew sticks there. I'm hoping it doesn't fall off the roof. But, um, are you going to let me pet you, baby? No. Anyway, that ledge allows them to hop. I will hopefully be able to go to Lowe's tomorrow and get another ledge. Uh, the ledge will probably connect from there somewhere like on the just on this shelf to there uh maybe like that or something but um, i'm hoping um i put this here so they have a they can quickly run to their own house without you know that's the idea um and there's a pvc and so that's their toilet back there they generally like to pee in the corner so i did not want to put the house in the corner because then they're going to probably pee inside i don't know if they're attracted to scents and they might have they've already been peeing in that corner to begin with i cleaned as best as i could with the lysol wipe but it's not perfect um, but, um, the PVC comes out here too, and it comes out in their house. So, you know, it's all good. And this is just, this toy ro rolls around. I gave this to them yesterday. I think it was yesterday morning. Take a look at this. It's completely brand new, and it's already all, like, they chewed it. Um, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I banged on this by accident. Um, so their food's upstairs, and I still am using these. The reason is, one, it absorbs a lot of pee. Because uh, they seem to pee a lot when they eat upstairs or they're marking their territory because it is food. Uh, I don't know which, but they pee up here. And I wanted to be able to shake this grass out easily without shaking out the fleece. So um, I will take this away every morning and I'll take this away once a week. And it's just, it, I don't want to bother him while he's up there. But basically this thing is folded like this and then this thing is folded over top. And the way I did this one, it, it's not going to allow me to reverse use it. Um, so I'm just gonna have to make up make do with it um, But I should have some more by Thursday uh, Tuesday a uh, Friday at the latest So it should be good. They seem to really be in interested in chewing this house like chewing the bark off of it So it makes me think that chinchillas maybe um, so it's good to know I can see now that they actually all fit in there It makes me think that maybe chinchillas in the wild actually eat tree bark Right do you eat tree bark? Do you eat tree bark my love? Um, this house is really expensive I could totally do this myself, with except the hole in the doorway, but I could do it with the square pieces and rectangular pieces, but, you know. Um, was it worth the money? Absolutely. Um, I did put the ledge up really high, um, just because I thought it would give them a little more cozy comfort up there, um, and also because they like to climb and jump, and this was the best way to utilize my space. I will probably put a ledge here or a shelf here. Um, or maybe a corner one if I can find something. Uh, but uh, they seem to really like these twigs. Um, if so, I will definitely be willing to buy these even though I'm trying to cut back on my spending now completely uh, because they're only $1.99 if they really like it that much. I will Google to make sure it's really good for them. <laughs> um, I have not given them anything out of the treat tin yet. I opened it just to see what was in it. Um, there's peanuts and everything in it, so it's all good stuff. Uh, but I think they like those things more than the treats. Oh my god, I should just totally trade that three forty nine tin and just buy these in the future. I should just not buy treats. I should buy those seagrass things. I think that would be a better thing. But um, as you can see, there's plenty of room there. But they do like to jump. Um, okay, so their water totally works. Um, I noticed that Speedo doesn't seem to drink very much water at least when I first met him but um Nala seems to drink a lot which makes me wonder was she already maybe pregnant from the pet store if she is a girl because I mean they tried to sell me that she's a boy over and over and I'm wondering why just wondering guys you know pet stores right I mean I really do a lot of business with that particular pet store but 
I don't think they're beyond lying. And they could totally claim they didn't know. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So anyway, tomorrow I will pick up another one of these tiles. I will extend this one out a little bit. And then, actually I'll move probably the house a little bit over though. And extend it out and then do that. Um, it means they cannot chase each other in a circle. But they can jump up and down in this way. Um, I don't want to put a channel behind the house. I will consider it. I will think about it. I definitely have the space to move it a little bit forward. Um, then they can sleep. But I want to encourage them to sleep in the house. Otherwise, why did I get them a house? If I could just get, put a piece of lumber there and stand it upright on like a, like make a 90 degree corners and make it stand there. But um, they seem to like the house. Um, I want them to play house. Because, you know, I do believe one is a boy and one is a girl. So, of course, they can play. Oh, there you go. So it is usable. It's all good. Um, that's the highest notch I can put the shelving. Um, so if it doesn't work, um, if that doesn't work, then I will turn it around. Because originally when I bought the house, I made them give me a measuring tape. I wanted to put it this way. This way. So I knew that there was at least half a feet on the edge for this thing so I was gonna lower the shelf all the way to bomb but then I realized they like to climb so maybe I should just use it as a platform and they can sit on top of their house which is exactly what Nala's showing me she likes to do so um, so he's just cooling off his face um, that's what I said when I told you guys he really liked the tile he rubbed his face all over it um, so anyway yeah I'm gonna go and <laughs> clean off this really gross fleece and then I'm going to take it apart and then prep, put it in a bag and um, depending on where I go tomorrow I just might go to the bank as well and get some cash because they are open on Saturdays um, so I can do the laundry um, it's not essential that's the thing though I don't have to do the laundry because I just did the hamsters one I have enough for another week definitely and these guys are getting new one new liners again on Tuesday at the latest Wednesday and then if not they will reorder it and get me it on Friday but they put it on order for four so I will definitely have enough then to do every two weeks if I get four more liners that means I have two more sets two more weeks worth and I currently have one week worth one and a half so it means I have three weeks plus a spare just one odd one uh, I like them in equals so I'm hoping they order five I only ask for four though um, but if they have five, I will definitely buy it. Because if I have that, then I have exactly eight, which is what I need. Two plus one in use and one to spare, which is what I want. And now that I don't have guinea pigs, I might actually be able to do my laundry less frequently if I have enough hamster bedding. Um, so we will see. Um, they seem to really like this house. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what's going to happen to this house tomorrow. Um, I was reading that, uh, and I also heard about it too before I got these guys. I already knew. Um, I love it when they rub their nose. Um, I heard that they could go through one of these houses in a month. <laughs> um, I sincerely, sincerely hope not. But at the rate they're eating it, they, they're actually eating it, guys. They are not chewing it. They're eating it. These guys eat wood. Isn't that creepy? Or maybe it's just the bark that they eat. <laughs> Look at him, he's actually eating it, oh my god. I love it when they wipe their noses. But they're actually, oh, when I was cleaning their cage, they're actually capable of jumping from here to here by just one hand grabbing the wall and then just going. They don't even need this thing. But uh, it's a good thing in case they get too ambitious. I don't want them to fall. Um, so I'm going to go clean their stuff and then I'm going to go take a shower and then I'm going to crawl into bed and call it a day. I need to go watch my shows. I am 1.6 weeks behind as of tonight by midnight. I'll be one, I was 1 1.5, but then as of tonight, more shows were aired, meaning after midnight they're available to watch online. So I'm, I'm back to square one. Uh, today I only watch NCIS and NCIS LA, Los Angeles that is. Um, I abbreviate everything. Um. Uh, according to my Apple app on my calendar. Um, so anyway, it's another day. I think today's Nikita, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. And then I recently added Kitchen Nightmare, which the first episodes already aired. I think I missed that one. And I think tonight they air another one. So I'm getting really behind. 
Um, so yeah, okay, it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna actually move this ledge up a little bit, guys. Okay, bye.